Okay, thank you very much. Hugh Jackman is back for one final victory lap as Wolverine. And that's got us all wondering, who's next? Who's got the chops? The X Factor to pick up Jackman's claws. They have to be a seasoned actor. Yes. Have a very distinctive physique. Hello. <laughs> and the ferocity of a feral Wolverine. <laughs> I think we both know who we're talking about. That's right. The next Wolverine should be Danny Day. DeVito. What the fuck? So, why DeVito? For all the reasons we already discussed. One, seasoned actor. Danny DeVito. A distinctive physique. His neck is so thick. How many actors do you think you could identify from their silhouette alone? You add claws to this body, you've got an icon. Mm, you like what you see? And of course, ferocity. Smash his face until he's dead! <laughs> oh, a trash man! He does have that Wolverine energy, doesn't he? Somebody's gotta get stabbed! That small, caged animal energy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is the spirit of Wolverine, in my opinion. I do see it. I you do see I mean? it. I see it. What does he have that I don't have? Height. Wolverine is supposed to be five foot three. Five foot three. And huge jacked man is six foot two. Wow. Now he did an excellent job. I'm not gonna take it away. Logan was fantastic. Okay, big fan. But as he rides off into the distance, can we correct some of the mistakes of the past? Danny DeVito at four foot ten. He's four foot ten. Four foot ten is actually closer to the proper height of Wolverine than is Hugh Jack. God, you're right. You're right. If we're gonna do this, I'm gonna put down my claws. We're gonna do it right. We need to make it action packed. Oh. We need them actually fighting and slashing bad guys. Oh. We need them doing it in the classic yellow suit. I can see it already. Full CG, Danny DeVito. Full CG. Flipping and flopping through the air. Wow. It's what I need to do. I love it. Jordan, I want you to take this claw. I want you to make me the best CG Wolverito that's ever existed. Daniel behind the camera, I want you to take this claw and make the best trailer edit you possibly can. We know what we're doing? Yes. Rabbit Wolverine scream on three. One, two, three. <laughs> So we have our edit. Daniel found a way to retell the story of Wolverine using all your favorite moments from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So now we gotta comp them all together. We have our X-Men plate. We can use Photoshop's fill tools to paint them out. Then we will track that still back onto our footage if the camera's moving. Then you just stabilize the Danny plate, roto them out, then refine edges tool. By the way, oh, that is my best friend, especially for his little tufts of hair. I've been staring at Danny DeVito's head so much, I don't see a human head anymore. I just see a big ol' ostrich egg nestled <laughs> in, in some hay. Color correction, depth of field, a grade. And then we just repeat that 30 times. And that's just the easy stuff. Sometimes there's little tiny ropes that you gotta paint out and a cage that you gotta paint in. Not a Nick cage, like a cage. No, Nick. Well, that's a different video. Other times there's flashing lights from different directions you have to match. Sometimes Wolverine is underwater. That was really hard. But kind of fun, too. It was a fun challenge. So we have to roto all of this machinery in front of them. Drop in our Danny, color match him, and then we add our own caustics. And then we are using that same caustics asset to drive a displacement map. So that way, all of the motion of the distortion is matching. And what we get is something that feels pretty real. I think it's a great shot, Matthew. I think people are going to love it. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate it. Do you think uh, people are gonna like my edit? Daniel, I think they will like your edit. It's a lot of fun, great, always sunny memes. This is gonna work. It's gonna work, buddy. Thanks, man. You're welcome. But that's just the medium difficulty part. Now let's talk about the advanced stuff. We all know the shot of Wolverine emerging from the adamantium tank. That glistening rippled body, then pert peaches. That is the moment that Wolverine is born. Now if only there were footage of Danny DeVito being birthed. That footage exists. If you haven't seen this yet, feast your eyes. Oh, great, now you <laughs> Danny DeVito, I'm so proud of you for doing this. Oh, Jesus oh, no. Christ! Oh, no. This is one of the greatest moments. Why is this an advanced level shot? Full CG items, a CG porthole for him to crawl out of, and a set of CG stairs for him to slurp on down, and then he just greasily slips his way down the stairs. Man, dude. You know? <laughs> that is an advanced difficulty shot. But for the maximum difficulty shot, we're gonna need a full CG Wolverito. Hey-o! <laughs> I'm here at Patty's Pub to talk to you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Say you want to start a website where you sell fight mail so you can fight like a crow. <laughs> well, Squarespace is the only one platform that lets you build your online presence and run your crow-fluid business with ease. <laughs> 
Speaking of Fluid, Squarespace's new Fluid engine lets you start with a best-in-class website template and customize every detail with reimagined drag-and-drop technology. Come on, man! Even Charlie Kelly could deliver a beautiful website with Squarespace. And their templates are flexible! So they can freak it out whether you're selling fight notes <laughs> and figure on kitten mittens or eggs. Squarespace has you covered. But you don't just have to sell online. Look, Patty's Pub, home of the original kitten mittens. If you want to sell those kitten mittens in person, just connect a Square Reader to the SQSP app and keep your orders, inventory, and customer data in sync with your online store. So don't be a jabroni. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head on over to squarespace.com slash corridor crew for 10% off your first website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash corridor crew. Now, I got to go track down a 3D model of Danny DeVito and a shirt with some sleeves. Just no self-respect. <laughs> what is this, dude? Danny DeSquito. Look, whoa, look, whoa, look, whoa, look. Whoa. This is not only Danny DeVito, it's him as Wolverine. I'm, How did they? This is because it's what the people want. This is what we need. Okay, I'm sending him an email and it's gone. He said he'd be very happy to let us use it. Unfortunately, it's an old school project that I guess got deleted. So we're gonna have to basically rebuild this polygon for polygon. Now I don't have time to do that. So instead, we reached out to a fan who custom built us a Wolverito according to our exact specifications. Thank you, Andrew. Look at him, he's gorgeous. Took him into Substance Painter, of course, to do the materials. No one has had the stones to put our boy in yellow spandex until now. What would you prefer? Yellow spandex? Yes, sir, I think we would. We're adding the stripes on the sides, we're adding the shoulder pads, which makes this the most comic book accurate version of the Wolverine costume in big screen history. It's looking pretty decent, but I'm still not satisfied. For our maximum difficulty shot, I want to choreograph and film a real fight scene. <laughs> Flawless. This is Nathan. He's a very talented stuntman, and he's playing our Wolverine for today. I've actually played Wolverine before, a traveling stunt show by the name of Marvel Universe Live. So I have a lot of experience with the movement, with the styles. <laughs> oh yeah. So here we're having to modify some of Hugh Jackman's signature moves to account for Wolverine's height. He's gonna be swiping much higher to reach June's heads. And that's very Wolverine. He's not supposed to be a tall, confident hombre, you know? He's a feisty little furball looking up at the world with everything to prove. That was awesome. Time to go outside and slash some goons. In addition to Wolverito, I'll also be playing all three goons. This is goon one and two and three. Let's get this going. I want to see him fight for real, so I got to do it for real myself with a camera and a man. I'm the man. He's the man. And then Emmett's here too. Hello. <laughs> He's helping. When those claws come up your groin, you're like, Ugh! and that was perfect. I want to use every excuse in the book to be a filmmaker and make films and direct things and do VFX and do fun sequences like this. That's a win, 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 win for me. Thank you, brother. My pleasure, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, so our shoot last night went yeah. really well. Our stunt guy, Nathan, said that uh, I look like Wolverine. Matt makes a great Wolverine. I mean, look at that, am I right? I just want to like highlight that. As I went in and lined up these three plates, boom, boom, boom. That's crazy. He timed it in his head. When you're watching a movie like this, you're not watching just Hugh Jackman. You're also watching his stunt team. Nathan is half of the Wolverine performance, uh, and he, he knocked it out of the park. We've got our motion capture data, and it did a great job for the majority of it. The one thing it had a lot of difficulty with was capturing the jumps. Oh, the Tootsie Roll! Was that in the choreography? Oh. Whoop! <laughs> How long have you been this flexible? Restriction of leg movement. So I head over to Mixamo, get a couple of those in-between actions, and tether those into the overall animation by having the Mixamo skeleton puppet the Rococo skeleton that is puppeting the Wolverine skeleton. Puppet being puppeted by a puppet being puppeted by a puppeteer. That's what we're doing. Here we have two animations that I have blending over two frames, right? And you can see just a little bit of sliding, right? It doesn't feel totally physically correct. That's where Cascador comes in. I take my final combined animation and I run their physics AI algorithm over the top of it, allowing it to reinterpolate my keyframes the minute that you apply that physics interpolation. There is a, so much more momentum. It goes, no, we're landing this hard. It needs to follow through with the hips, buckle the knees, and then we'll roll out of it. Smooth. So after our final stages of lighting, rendering, and compositing, what you have is a beautiful hodgepodge of approaches. Performance of Nathan, hand animation, Mixamo animation, right? You look at Gollum, you say, Andy Serkis is Gollum. He is, and he did an amazing job. But the reality is behind that performance, there is also a team of fantastically talented animators. Those animators are also Gollum. It's a team sport, and Wolverito is no different. And with that in mind, we do have one more piece of mocap to get. 
We have one shot left. Yes, we do. And it is a very important shot. This is the first time that we are gonna see Wolverito joining the X-Men ready for battle. And there is no one else I would rather have play this role than the man who has poured his soul into this project so far. Yes, that's right. The man who has done so much work. Daniel, you're killing it, man. The edit's fantastic. You know, you know I need this, man. You need it? I need it. It's kind of weird. I actually have the tank top on. You wore it again. I, I wore it again. How long have you worn that? You no, can do I want to show you. you can I want to show you. I want to show you. I can You'll do, do the roll. You'll do the roll and you keep close. Hey! <laughs> can I talk to you for a second, Mike? He needs it bad. It was dark. Let's just give it to him. I'm down. I mean, he started getting naked, so. Okay, Matt? Yeah. We made a decision. Did you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> really? Take him. Wow. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. I would have liked to do more on this project, but I just did not have the time this month to do it. So this is the best I can give. Honestly, I do love this stuff so much, but I still want to deliver something quality. You know, I want to take this idea as far as it can go. And you know what they say, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, you go with a team. Gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. You're, you're welcome. We are here today to make a very important decision. On this very board here are candidates for the next Wolverine. But we believe the most important man has been left out of this. A wild card, if you will. Right. Hugh Jackman is the only Wolverine for me. Yeah, he's been Wolverine longer than I've been alive. Oh. What? Don't say that out loud. That's crazy. Wow. I don't think there's another actor other than Hugh Jackman who's huge and jacked. Or a man. Or a man. Mm. Truth is, none of these guys are right for the role. There's one man for the job. It of is, course. of course. Danny DeVito! Me. What? I just... What the fuck? This guy. Oh, dude, hey, Danny, Danny DeVito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is, yeah. Shoot my right. shot, you know? Gotta shoot it. That's right, everybody. Matt, hit it. You got it, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's winner, a Wolverine. A few days ago, I was shanghai upstate to a nitwit school. Good morning, Logan. I'm Charles Xavier. I'd like you to meet Storm, Cyclops. I believe you've already met Dr. Jean Grey. I banged her. Cyclops got really upset when I banged the waitress. Stay away from my girl. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. She was a nice piece of ass. But the school is merely our public face. The lower levels, however, are an entirely different matter. This place is tits! You were safe here for Magneto. You must be a Wolverine. Must tear me up inside! That remarkable metal doesn't run through your entire body, does it? The metal is an alloy called adamantium. It's been surgically grafted to his entire skeleton. You haven't told him about his past, have you? Logan's mind is still fragile. I don't like it! I don't like to think about it! Back then, science was real crude. I burned, I burned, I burned, I burned! Ah! Oh, I burned! Oh, you unzip me. It's all coming back. I hate you. I'm a villain, don't you see? And I don't care if anybody doesn't like that about me. They don't have to stick around. Logan, you have more power than you can imagine. The question is, will you control that power or let it control you? You can't do this alone. It's time we make our choice. So if you're with us, then be with us. I get it. Jean, get Logan a uniform. Whoa! You really let your ass breathe. You guys all think I'm a hero. And I'll accept that responsibility. Somebody's got to stab! There it is. They hit me like a train. I love this. This is great. Yeah, the lines that you guys picked in the moments from X-Men. It, it, that's Daniel behind the camera that's right there. Take, yeah. Take a bow. Yeah. I guess with the camera. Take a bow with the camera. Tell you're doing it. There you go. That probably looks yeah. a little weird, huh? Bravo. Hey. Bravo. Yeah. Amazing. It's incredible. Did I hear the 90s like X-Men show music in there? That's a guy named Epic Trailer Music UK. He gave me permission to use it. Shout out to him. Thanks, wow. man. Go ahead and vote who you want to be the next Wolverine. It was really cool. There was like a full story. I was actually swept away. Perfect mix of the classic trilogy and always sunny memes. I think this is the sauce that Marvel needs. A lot of people talk about superhero fatigue. This woke me right up. So far it's unanimous. I mean, this is very encouraging. Looks like you guys dropped something. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, that means a lot to me. Well, there you go. It's almost unanimous. Thank you so much for watching, and go check out the full trailer on Quarter's YouTube channel. It's <laughs> somewhere around here. There's a box, you'll find it.